butt stuff. The anus, or what's visible between the butt cheeks, is the opening to the rectum. It is made up of two muscular rings called the internal and external sphincter. The anus is rich in nerve endings, most of which are centered just around the opening. This is why anal stimulation can be so pleasurable. At the base of the spinal cord lies the pedundal nerve. This main nerve helps us feel pleasure during orgasm because its smaller nerves attach to the bladder, the anus, and the clitoris, all of which help send signals to the brain about what feels good. Here we can also find the PC or Kegel muscles. They stretch from the pubic to the tailbone, forming the floor of the pelvic cavity. If you've ever squeezed out that last drop of pee, you are using your Kegel muscles. They also contract during orgasm. Finally, we have the perineal sponge, also known as the perineum, located just at the bottom of the vagina opening and the rectum. Made up of blood vessels, nerve endings, and erectile tissue, when aroused, it becomes swollen with blood, compressing the outer third of the vagina and the vestibular bulbs, creating a tighter feeling. Since the anus does not self-lubricate like the vagina, it is important to prepare it well before any kind of penetration. Do not try anal sex without plenty of lube and outer course. The initial insertion can be quite a painful part, so breathing deeply, relaxing, taking breaks, and communicating with your partner can help to ease the pain. If it is too much, it may be time to move on to stimulate a different part of the body. But, and it is a big but, if you're switching from anal to vaginal sex, be sure to change the condom. Carefully wash anything that was inserted into the anus before inserting into the vagina to prevent the spread of bacteria.